Hi guys and uh, welcome to Tech Scrutiny. I'm going to start with a story you are probably hearing way too often. I had been using Intel CPUs for over two decades, uh, starting with uh, 286 um, up until last year, and I never really looked at anything besides Intel. Um, AMD in my mind was always a distant second choice, uh, just and was mostly for budget PC builds. And given that I didn't upgrade that often, it made sense for me to go for a more premium CPU. Uh, whether right or wrong, uh, but this is the perception that I had at the time. Things uh, changed for me when uh, AMD released their Ryzen 9 uh, processors. Ultimately, this has to do with Lisa Su uh, joining AMD six years ago, uh, but that's a completely separate topic. I was blown away by Ryzen 9 performance and how they dominated most of the creator benchmarks and uh, ran very close to Intel in gaming. Um, I was looking for 3900X initially, but when uh, 16 core, 32 thread, 3950X came out, I decided to pull the trigger on that one instead. Uh, by the way, this video was processed on a 3950X machine, by the way. Um, the CPU did not come with a cooler, uh, but I didn't really care. Um, I've never used a stock cooler in my life, so it really meant nothing to me. Um, anyway, fast forward to November 2020, and uh, we are looking at uh, 5950X, um, and AMD just doesn't let up. And by the way, it's not about sticking it to Intel, uh, but giving us a choice. Um, having just one big player on the market hurts everyone, uh, except for that one big player. So thankfully, AMD stepped up their game and made these exciting times to live in. Um, okay, let me just dive into key performance differences uh, among the top tier consumer CPUs uh, as of right now. So let's first talk about the 5950X. And uh, by the way, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of specs, uh, but rather just touch on them um, and touch them on a really high level. Uh, we have uh, 16 cores, 32 threads, and 105 watts uh, TDP. Uh, what's different now is the boost clock is uh, 4.9 uh, gigahertz. I thought 3950X was unbelievable already, but uh, 5950X is a beast. Um, it broke a Cinebench record with a score of uh, 641. Uh, now, according to AMD, when comparing it to 3950X, uh, you get about 27% improvement in the CAD workload, 9% improvement in compiling, 12% uh, improvement in rendering, and 5% uh, improvement in video editing. Um, however, the biggest boost you'll see is in gaming. Uh, we're talking upwards of 29% uh, improvement across the board uh, versus 3950X. The numbers that I saw are for Far Cry New Dawn, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Ashes of the Singularity. Um, amazing. Um, if you're a creator but doing quite a bit of gaming, um, this CPU combines the best of both worlds. Let's be honest, Intel was dominating 3950X in gaming. Now, uh, a lot of times, not by much, uh, but it did uh, nonetheless. Things may have changed now. Now, uh, let's talk about Intel's i9-10900K. Uh, what a mouthful. <laughs> this is the closest CPU uh, to compare 5950X to. And uh, by the way, its uh, Cinebench score is uh, 539 versus 641 for 5950X. So you can already see how this is going to go. And uh, just a brief overview of the specs. Intel's uh, CPU has uh, 10 cores, 20 threads, uh, with a boost clock of uh, 5.3 GHz and 125 watts uh, TDP. When it came to compiling, rendering, and video processing, uh, 3950X was already ahead of Intel, uh, but now uh, the gap is even wider. Uh, we're talking about a 59% improvement in rendering, 14% improvement in compiling, and 13% uh, improvement in video editing. And uh, as far as gaming, and uh, take this with a grain of salt, uh, it looks like AMD's 5950X is uh, either overtaking Intel uh, by 5 to 11%, or it's a tie. Um, Ashes of the Singularity, Far Cry, New Dawn, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Total War, Three Kingdoms. Um, 5950X just performs really well on those games and is either beating Intel or just on par with it. The question that I have is uh, whether it's worth upgrading to a 5950X for $799. Um, if you're already on a 3950X like me, um, I would say the answer is most likely no. Um, it's very hard to justify um, getting a 5950X unless you are more than a casual gamer or uh, doing a ton of uh, CAD and uh, video editing work. Um, going with a 3950X may make more sense uh, since the prices have already dropped 
Which CPU would you upgrade to? Uh, tell me in the comments below. Uh, and that's all I have for the time being. And uh, please, please like this video and uh, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.